the next type of reactions involving the cleavage of OH bond after acidity is the process of esterification. What is esterification? Process of obtaining an ester is esterification. And how is it possible for us to obtain an ester from phenol? From phenol by treating it with carboxylic acid or with acid chlorides or with acid anhydrides we will be able to obtain esters. So these process are called esterification. Now let's understand what the general equation of each case. Phenol C6H5OH when treated with a carboxylic acid R dash COOH where R can be either an alkyl group or an aryl group in presence of an acid medium H plus on the arrow shows acidic medium we will be able to obtain an ester assuming R to be an alkyl group we can name this ester as phenyl because C6H5 is phenyl group phenyl alkanoate because ester should end with the suffix O8 alkanoate so therefore it should end with the suffix O8 so the general name of this compound is phenyl alkanoate formula is C6H5 COOR plus H2O now how do we have this formation now this coloration will help you to remember this OH this bond cleaves because this is also reaction with respect to cleavage of OH bond the OH bond of the phenol cleaves so this H will react with this OH of the carboxylic acid resulting in the formation of water so this OH goes from here and this H goes from here what is that we are left with C6H5O C6H5O and then CO linked with R dash. Therefore, it is called phenyl alkanoate. So, overall general reaction will be C6H5OH plus R dash COOH in presence of acid medium gives C6H5COO R dash along with H2O. So, this is a general reaction with respect to carboxylic acid. We'll be able to obtain ester from phenol even by treating it with acid chloride here is a general reaction equation for this let us analyze this C6H5OH phenol when treated with acid chloride where we consider R to be an alkyl group so R dash COCl is the general expression for acid chloride for this it requires a base namely pyridine then what happens here again this bond cleaves between the OH whatever the bond is there this bond cleaves and this H will react with Cl comes out as HCl and then we are left with C6H5OCOR dash this is what is written here as I said R dash is an alkyl group so we call it as phenyl alkanoate the general name now this requires pyridine medium which is a changeover from the previous case pyridine is a base this is an acid so pyridine will absorb HCl as a result the equilibrium will shift to right more and more of ester is obtained now by the third method let us see how we will obtain ester from phenol. Phenol C6H5OH when treated with acid anhydride. General formula of acid anhydride is R dash CO twice O. Either you can write R dash or simply even as R. So R CO twice O is a general expression for acid anhydride. In presence of acid medium because we have written H plus on the arrow 
it results in the formation of an ester the ester formed is again phenyl alkanoate c6h5 coor dash along with a carboxylic acid r dash coh so these are the three different methods by which we will be able to obtain an ester from phenol whatever we have seen here in the equation is a general expression now let us try to understand with a example case for each the first case is with carboxylic acid so phenol when treated with this carboxylic acid CH3COOH which is popularly called acetic acid but its IUPAC name is ethanoic acid in an acid medium there is a cleavage between this OH bond and there is a cleavage between this that is C and O bond actually so therefore this H and OH comes out as water and what is that we are left with C6H5 CO and this O with CH3 so therefore we land up in the formation of phenyl acetate and its IUPAC name is phenyl ethanoate this happens in presence of acid medium I repeat the equation again C6H5OH plus CH3COOH in an acid medium gives C6H5COOCH3 along with H2O. What's the name of this compound? Phenyl ethanoate. General name we used to write earlier was phenyl alkanoate. Now the specific name is phenyl ethanoate. Why ethanoate? Because we see two carbon here. Therefore it is ethanoate. And Trivial nomenclature is phenyl acetate. Now, let's take up the example for phenol treating with acid chloride in presence of pyridine forming the ester along with HCl. Let's look into the example equation for this. Now, phenol C6H5OH plus acid chloride we are considering is acetyl chloride wherein that R we had replaced it with CH3. Trivial nomenclature is acetyl chloride. Its IUPAC name is ethanoyl chloride. In presence of the base pyridine, these two will react forming C6H5COOCH3 which is phenyl acetate or IUPAC name is phenyl ethanoate. This comes out along with the formation of HCl. I repeat the equation C6H5OH plus CH3COCl in presence of pyridine. Ester formed is C6H5COOCH3 along with HCl. Now let's look into the example for the third process by which we will be able to obtain ester from phenol that is by treating it with acid anhydrides in presence of acid medium let us see example equation for this phenol is treated with acid anhydride the acid anhydride considered here is acetic anhydride because R dash is replaced with CH3 so the formula will be CH3CO twice O and its IUPAC name is ethanoic anhydride in an acid medium forms phenyl acetate C6H5COOCH3 its IUPAC name is phenyl ethanoate along with this we get another very important compound that is acetic acid CH3COOH is the molecular formula of acetic acid and its IUPAC name is ethanoic acid. I repeat the equation again C6H5OH plus CH3CO twice O in an acid medium gives C6H5COOCH3 along with 
CH3COOH. So, these are the three example cases of obtaining esters from phenol by treating with carboxylic acid, acid chloride and acid anhydride. All of this with example are very important. Each one will be a question for two marks. Now, let us look into the second example with acetic anhydride. Salicylic acid that means to the phenol if COOH is attached then we call it as salicylic acid. What is the IUPAC name of salicylic acid? 2 hydroxy benzoic acid for the second carbon atom there is OH group otherwise this is a benzoic acid. So therefore 2 hydroxy benzoic acid is the IUPAC name of this. When treated with acetic anhydride in presence of acid medium, there is no change with respect to the COOH group attached to the benzene ring. Instead, all the change happens due to the cleavage of this OH bond wherein COCH3 group takes the linkage with this O in the place of H. So therefore you have benzene ring attached with COOH remaining intact and in this place O of the hydroxyl group is already there. COCH3 of the acetic anhydride will take a linkage. This is associated with the formation of acetic acid. As the H comes out here, it will react with one more CH3 CO along with this O. This H will combine forming CH3COOH. So I repeat the equation salicylic acid. What is the molecular formula? C6H4OHCOOH plus CH3CO twice O in presence of acid medium indicated by H plus on the arrow forms acetyl salicylic acid that is aspirin or 2 acetoxy benzoic acid that is the IUPAC name wherein benzene ring is linked with COOH and on the second carbon atom position OCOCH3 is linked and it is also associated with the formation of plus CH3COOH acetic acid. Aspirin or acetyl salicylic acid or 2 acetoxy benzoic acid formation is a very very important reaction equation because this aspirin forms a very important drug which can be used both as an analgesic as, as well as an antipyretic. Analgesics means painkiller, antipyretic means which reduces the fever.